Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at there is the Conrad Electro 2SK170 dual feed. Oops. And uh, as you can see, the LED is glowing fairly brightly. Uh, and what I'm giving it is uh, 0.274 volts, 274 millivolts from this little power supply here. That its needle is just barely off the peg. Okay, so uh, this Jewel Thief is working fairly well at really low voltage with one um, 2SK170 transistor in there and this little toroid that I wound uh, that's about 80 and uh, 5 turns there. And I couldn't, I didn't have a 5811 diode, so I used a 134A. probably work even better with the shock uh, At any rate, um, there is that. I just put this on there to keep it from falling off the table and closing it. Okay, so that's the value of the voltage that I'm feeding this to get that LED to light up that brightly. Now over here is the, the Mini Slayer, the TK Mini Slayer, with its uh, plasma globe, the electrosmog harvester there, and I'm going to give it 13.5 um, volts on that power supply down there, connected in parallel to this battery. Okay, so there's the circuit. That's an ultra-fast diode and a 50k potentiometer. And 3055 transistor and a loop stick and an 8 turn by Filer Tesla uh, primary and uh, the plasma sphere is working really well. Electrosmog harvester is working really well. And uh, the LED over here is glowing a little bit brighter. And uh, this isn't even hooked up to that circuit at all or even the power supply. And the meter has freaked out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the meter from the circuit, and it still is freaking out, so I'll just turn it off. Okay, but here's the thing, I can also disconnect this whole jewel thief from the circuit, and as you can see it still glows. There's no battery in there, people, there's not even any reservoir capacitor in there. And uh, when I touch the terminal, one of the power terminals with my finger, that thing really, really glows. Okay, and I'm, you know, a fair distance from that little Slayer exciter running on 13 volts there. I can get easily a meter away from that thing still have a nice brilliant green LED with no reservoir capacitor, no power supply, just picking up the ambient electricity, uh, electrosmog if you will, and this jewel thief is not even deliberately tuned to this frequency. The electrosmog harvester of course is, as I've shown, but uh, this guy, I just noticed that it happens to work, and uh, this should be a message, um, a lesson to everybody who's working with Akula type circuits. Uh, it does not take much to show brilliant LEDs and other devices picking up RF from the environment. And if you happen to live nearby or underneath or are working in a shed next to a powerful radio transmitter, like this Ruslan fellow seems to be doing, well, do the math. So here's the Conrad Electro Jewel Thief operating with no, no battery, no capacitor. Just my finger. Because way over there, 
way over there, I have the TK Slayer Exciter doing its thing. Alright. Thank you for watching.